Let me first express my hope that you are well. However, even in Hawaii, 17 precious lives have been lost to COVID-19, and more individuals have yet to recover. My condolences and well wishes. Fortunately, in Hawaii, we have been able to keep our numbers low. I attribute it to the strong sense of togetherness, respect, and mutual acknowledgement of each other that we have for one another in Hawaii. Truly, let us not forget that we're all in this together. The most difficult period was when COVID-19 was spreading very quickly and the death toll kept rising. But we may be entering another very difficult phase of this pandemic. Great economic loss is being felt. People are experiencing quarantine fatigue and many who live alone are in social isolation. And in some cases, even getting the basics are challenging. Let us help each other let us do our best to act in a way that will be beneficial for others too. It is a difficult balancing act when we can be torn by our individual wants and what might be best for society as a whole. In Buddhism, there is the saying, quote, human beings tend to move in the direction of their thoughts, end quote, and thus what we think is very important. Especially in these challenging times, let us be especially cognizant of our thoughts. In the book, Leaves of My Heart, published by the American Buddhist Study Center, translated and edited by Wayne S. Yokoyama, Lady Takiko Kujo, daughter of the 21st spiritual leader of the Honganji, writes about a single stem rose on her desk. Looking at it blooming, she says that she is inspired by it. She continues by saying the precious works of art of the past are not all inspiring because they were created a long time ago, but that contained in those works of art is, quote, an eternal life, end quote. The artwork exudes something that the artists realize by looking deep within themselves. She continues by saying that one seeks to nurture one's course of life because of a, quote, fulfillment of being constantly in the light of eternity, end quote. In other essays, she says that it is only natural for people to admire good and despise bad. But unless we deeply reflect on the negative in our own selves, we can never become free from it. She encourages us to deeply reflect on our limitations. By reflecting on my spiritual fullest self, then I will be able to appreciate the Buddha's vow, equally promising enlightenment to all. As I was reflecting on her thoughts and words, I then recall the statement by Monshu Emeritus, His Eminence Koshing Otani, the 24th spiritual leader of Honganji from his book, The Buddha's Wish for the World. He said, quote, when this vast and great vow of Amida Tathagata touches our hearts, one does not think, well, as long as I'm happy, that's all that matters, end quote. Putting their thoughts together, our pledge composed by His Eminence Bonshu Kojung Otani, the 25th spiritual leader of the Honganji, immediately came to mind. Our pledge reads, quote, reaching out to others, I will share a smile and gentle words, just like the Buddha who always calls out with aloha. Breaking away from my greed, anger, and ignorance, I will try to live in peace and harmony, just like the Buddha who shares tranquility and kindness with all. Moving forward from self-centeredness, I will share a life of joy and sorrow with others, just like the Buddha whose caring heart always embraces us. Realizing that I live because of others, I will try to live life to the fullest with an attitude of gratitude, just like the Buddha who promises to embrace us all." End quote. Illuminated, embraced, and nurtured by the light of infinite wisdom and immeasurable compassion, in grateful response to that wisdom and compassion, which totally understands my plight and predicament, let us take Gomonshu's words to heart. May it guide us every day, but especially in today's difficult time as we continue to deal with the challenge of COVID-19. Again, we are all in this together. Let us humbly support others and be appreciative of the support we receive from others. Thank you and Namo Amida Butsu, in trusting, in all-inclusive wisdom, and all-embracing compassion. Namanda.